Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about how, made, how to submit your website to webmaster tools for both WordPress websites and uh, Shopify website. So I'm going to show you the webmaster tools, analytics and uh, Facebook pixel code. Uh, you already learned uh, in WordPress how to do how to submit website to webmaster tools, but I'm going to show both of them. Um, how it is different from WordPress to here. So I'm taking this example of the website gopikrishna.techcourses.com. This I'm going to submit to Webmaster Tools now. So to do that, type Webmaster Tools and uh, sign in with your Gmail account. You're doing for the first time, but the console will be different. It'll ask you. Uh, which URL you want to do it, but I've already done for many of my website. So here, click on this drop down and uh, yeah, add a property. So you're doing for the first time, you will see like this. So they'll ask you, uh, there are two uh, windows here. One is this option, one is this. I, I prefer you select this uh, URL prefix option. Yes, so which option you have to select? I prefer go for this. Uh, see, if you want to do for all subdomains, HTTP, HTTPS, at the time, you just choose this, but uh, you have to have access to DNS for this, but go for this option, it's very simple. And uh, take your domain, you have to take the complete URL, whether it is HTTP or HTTPS, okay? Then click on continue. Right. Once you've done this, the verification methods will be there. Uh, one is a HTML file, HTML tag, analytics, tag manager, domain name provider. There. You choose the easy one, HTML tag I'm selecting. So there is a code. This code you have to paste in the head section, the clearly mentioned here. In the head section so in a wordpress how we do that and shopify how we do this i'm gonna paste the curve okay uh right so when come this is a wordpress i'll go to the theme appearance theme editor if you use all-in-one seo pack or used separate options will be there for a webmaster tool verification it's very easy over here if you're not using then directly come here then find header.php right hand side then you just see head section open head and close head just before the close head you have to paste either here you can paste i've already paste the analytics code here or else even after the head section here also you can paste it update file a verification is done so this is a uh, once it's done scroll down click on verify if the code is pasted properly it will show that it's success now go to the property now slowly based on the performance you will see the analytics okay now that is a WordPress website, how to verify a Shopify one. So here again, click on this, add a property. Here I'm taking uh, this website. It's a sample website, so I'm doing a trial here. Uh, but actually, uh, this is a password protected because I haven't choose any uh, plan. So this might not successfully verify it. But if you, if you already take a domain and you have in a plan, this is the process you have to do it. So select this, paste it, continue. You will get a code and uh, choose the HTML tag method, copy it and come back here. I'm gonna show you a way to paste properly. For a WordPress, you have appearance, theme editor, header section you have right in the same way Shopify also so click on online store 
there are many options. Now I clicked on theme. When I clicked on theme, right hand side, we have a customize and actions option is there. Click on the actions option beside drop down, then edit code. Edit code option. Okay, this is the complete code. Now here is the head section, but don't waste here. There are different uh, layout, template, many are there. So click on the theme dot liquid. This is the theme dot liquid. Click on this. So I've already there. That's why it's showing. If not, by default, it will be like this. Then click on theme dot liquid. Now it will come here. So this is the head section. This is the open head. And when you scroll down, you'll find the close head. Yeah, either you can paste here in the 166 or else you can paste directly after the head section. Done. Save. Then go back to Webmaster Tools and click on Verify. See, the ownership verification failed. Uh, the only reason is our website is uh, password protected. People can't access it. Now, when Google also tried it, it will ask the password because I haven't choose the plan. But if you already choose plan, you have your own domain, then this is the process. That's it. Okay. Uh, this is about webmaster tools. And after that, I'll make a separate video on uh, what are these options, how to access them. Now, Google Analytics. We already learned how to do uh, Google Analytics in WordPress. Now let us see how to do analytics through Shopify website. So I'm going to Google Analytics. <clears throat> now recently Google Analytics have updated. Now they're calling it as a GA4. More new options are coming in this. Previously, we used to have universal analytics. Now they're calling as a GA4 and uh, measurement ID they're providing. And uh, click on admin. I'm going to create a new account. <clears throat> and I'm calling it as a Shopify. Shopify, one second, guys. Let me pause this. So now uh, let the options like this. Then uh, property name, new Shopify. Then the time zone same. And I'm clicking on the next option. It's asking me to select the category. Mm -hmm. Okay, just selecting those options. Then click on create. Accept the terms and conditions. Then we'll be having a code here. Generally, uh, the code, again, I'm selecting which one I want to do. Okay, we haven't mentioned the website, right? So let me copy the website. It's not, uh, yeah, it's HTTPS. But I'm removing this. Site name, new Shopify. Create stream. Now we'll be getting a code. Mostly uh, when it comes to uh, WordPress, we used to take the big code, but here no need of the code here. So global site tag, copy and paste this code as the first item into the head section. Directly paste this in the head section. Okay, or else even you can take the measurement ID. Both will work actually. Now if you see the Shopify, I'm going to home here online store anyway uh, doing the thing same if you want to paste the code instead of this 
you already got the code copy it and uh, here <clears throat> edit code now theme dot liquid is there as we discussed now again uh, below the head section we just paste it it will be done but here one more option is there apart from that if you think that a lot of code is coming over here then go to preferences under online store there is an option called preferences yes where you'll be giving a title description now see the google analytics code paste your code from google here and if you click on this they're giving a complete information how to do that so i'm just pasting the code here and save seems there is error analytic snippet doesn't look valid okay see they're not asking the code they're asking the ua thing so here no need of the code here uh, previously ua was there now they're giving a measurement id let me try to paste this i don't know whether it is working or not doesn't look valid see still shopify is not accepting the uh, new measurement id still they're taking the ua only but google analytics these days it's not uh, giving the uh, universal analytics so the only option we have is going back to theme and that option maybe soon uh, shopify might be update this they haven't updated this option so i'm going back here edit code and uh, and the theme dot liquid i'm pasting it done save now google analytics also set up now once a traffic is coming it will show you how it is working as i said this will be a bit slow here analytics new analytics is a bit slow might not trigger immediately let me see the live data now Uh, try to open this website from your browsers subhashmangalam.myshopify.com and it is password protected you have to type uh, password subhash cbhsh then you'll see the website so that i can track whether the analytics code is triggering or not okay this is about webmaster tools and google analytics now the facebook pixel <clears throat> how to do the facebook pixel so once you go to facebook ads manager left hand side you have events manager now this is the pixel id just copy the pixel id and uh, paste over there in the shopify go to preferences and scroll down so So before that they're asking you to connect Shopify to Facebook so that they can paste the code so I'm just saying okay for this so sometimes directly from here you can upload your products so it will be visible to Facebook ads Okay. So once I connect, they're asking which business manager account I want to use, which pages I want. 
then we'll be having option to uh, have a Facebook pixel code also. I'm not going to deeper into this, but I'm just showing you how to uh, check many options. There are two options which you go. Uh, same like a WordPress theme editor. Here, if you click on online store, it will go to the theme. Under here, if you click on edit code, there is an option called theme.liquid where you will be getting a website head section and body section. So try to paste the code. Another thing is again under this online store preferences. Uh, here just uh, I try to paste the analytics uh, you the measurement ID, but it is not asking. It is asking the universal analytics, the older one. So if I paste if it is there, let me try to paste the universal analytics of some other website which I'm already using. Let's see how it's work. It's uses. Yeah, this is analytics, universal analytics only. I think soon they might be changing this. Okay, tracking info, tracking code. These are not relevant anyway, but I'm just showing whether it is accepting or not. See. Done. See, it is accepting. At the same time, use enhanced e-commerce also it is accepting. So still it's accepting the only universal entities, not the measurement ID. So this is how you can uh, submit your website to Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel. Uh, it's asking you to connect more in the next video. I'll be explaining. Right now. Till now we learned uh, how to set up your Shopify store and after that how to design your website and how to add product different kinds of product variable products and different options. Now how to submit to Google and analytics also we learned. The main important thing uh, Shopify comes with the basic options, but if you want to enhance more, if you want to utilize more uh, facilities from them, then it's all about the apps. So third parties, developers who partner with Shopify and they provide provide many apps. So I'm going to show some 25 best apps which you can uh, go through that. How they are free actually. Some are a little paid. Uh, so there are many apps anyway. It depends on the requirement. Now assume that anyway it will ask you the currency which your store using. Assume that you US dollar. But if you want to ship your product to different countries, if you want. Uh, customer from all parts of the world want to purchase they might not like us dollar they might like indian rupee or as europe at the time some plugins some apps are there which will automatically convert your store based on their uh, country if you're from india you can choose the india so that automatically in your rupees will come so in such a way there are many apps so here i'm going to show what are the different apps they have so uh, this is a Shopify blog only one more advantage of Shopify is complete tutorial. They only providing in in-depth. What you need is a lot of time to understand all these things. So just go through all this. Overlow kit, order printer, product reviews, free shipping bar, SEO site audit, printful, improved contact form, Clavio, digital downloads, push oval, form builder, rewards, shop codes, compass, bulk image edit upsell and cross sell infinite options huge gems sales notification by MPS one of the good way to gain the trust from the customer Tidal live chat trust badge ultimate sales boost give and grow private so okay uh, the complete information also gave what is this what is this so every person uh, who is doing drop shipping they know about Uber low so Uberlo helps you in such a way that if you are doing drop shipping from aliexpress you can import those products directly to your store at the same time whenever customer place an order on your website also you can contact with the merchant again you place an order over here so 
So that is one kind of interface over here. Okay, this is Uber low. This is for the drop shipping. Try to do it this today, how it works. Kit. So uh, they're saying that uh, automatically this app will help you get more traffic. Uh, they will do email marketing. They'll do Facebook ads. Even if you sleep also, they'll do marketing. But I don't want uh, someone else to control my marketing. So I, I better not to do this. But if you don't know anything, but you have a lot of money, then you can go for this. But small advertiser, I don't think. So it will work in such a way that if you pay money, automatically it will create Facebook ads, email marketing, everything it will do because of their machine learning. But small companies, it's not required. Order printer, so it's more about invoices, labels, receipts, package slips. If you want to generate, this app will do this. These are all done by the third party developers who worked hard and uh, they integrate with uh, Shopify. Product reviews. Now, again, if you're doing a drop shipping, now you are selecting a product from uh, AliExpress, the product have a lot of reviews. And when it comes to your website, there are no reviews. Then because of this app, whatever the reviews they have for the AliExpress that can be directly imported over here. Now, assume that you have 20 to 25 reviews with around 4, 4.5 uh, stars. When a customer comes here, there are reviews that he feels that, okay, this is a genuine website. So there is a possibility he will buy the product. That's why this is, this will help you to enhance the performance. <clears throat> Free shipping bar. Now assume that, uh, see, there is a study. They're saying that 34% of the consumers only make online purchases if free shipping is included. Now assume that you're doing a free shipping, but you're not marketing. You're not doing a marketing, then it's waste. So you want to increase as a bar, as kind of a pop-up, then uh, this free shipping bar, you can show is like this. Uh, apart from this also, there are some options which you could do it, but if you see them, maybe it will highlight it. But here, SEO site audit, there are many tools uh, outside Shopify anyway. Uh, Ahrefs, or else SMrush, many tools are there. But in, if you want to do here itself, then some site audits are there. What is working, what is not working. So this is the app you can try. Printful uh, these days, <clears throat> print on demand is very good. Customer select a plain T-shirt, and on that, whatever the design he want, uh, he can do it. So he only customize his T-shirt. These kind of things are getting sold very well. You want to create a, this kind of website, but you want to have a connectivity with the real designer and manufacturer. This will help you. So Printful syncs with your Shopify store to let you sell print on demand products like t-shirts, mugs, posters, and more. When an order is made on your Shopify store, it's automatically sent to Printful, which will print and ship it to your customer on your behalf of. There are no minimum order quantities or upfront fees, so services, blah, blah, blah. So it's very good, right? Everything, this only taking care of on a background. Improved contact form. Uh, see, there is no such option of a contact form in a Shopify. If you want to have definitely this kind of app, you have to use it. Clavio, uh, this is more of automation. Uh, we use many automation tools in such a way in a Shopify. This is one kind of automation tool automatically you want to run a Google ads. And uh, so if you want to do automation, more of email marketing things, this will help you. Digital downloads. We've seen that in Shopify, uh, physical products, variable products only we mentioned. But if you want to have a digital download product, then you have to use this app. So that digital downloadable products also, you can add it. Push all. So this is more of uh, a cart is abandoned and uh, you want to send up a follow up emails, then this push all app is helping you see uh, majority of the e-commerce website, even I'm checking with buy clients also, not only 68%, uh, 70 to 80% of the carts are abandoned because everyone 
not interested to buy immediately they might come again later they check the price no all so once they abandoned a follow up email is going to them the conversions are very high 20 to 30% conversions are very well so this app is helping in such a way that uh, whatever the abandoned cards are there they'll be sending a automated uh, push notifications form builder same like a previous one the form rewards and referrals by swell this is another app now uh, you doing a some kind of promotional at the same time you giving some rewards people might be interested if you want to showcase those kind of rewards and referrals use this shop code it's more about the qr codes if you want to promote uh, your website through uh, qr codes on any physical product so then you can use this compass it's more of the analytics here bulk image did this is helpful now you created a store without a prior knowledge of seo now you thinking that lot of things to be customized image alt is not given properly the size is too much large and it's loading very slow then bulk image edit if you use this app it's very easy to customize all of them at one go upsell and cross sell the products uh now just now we see whatever the website we created if you so this is what we designed as today the basic website and uh, if you go to shop page this is the product but again if this is the product it is not showing any recommendations below if it is a woocommerce website you have some uh, plugins like related products it depends on the theme also if you take a paid theme by default these options will come but free theme if you want to use it then go for this upsell and cross sell product so that by default uh, with some automated rules uh, based on the tags or category another products also show up see by showing the related products your sales will increase customer have added one product there is a possibility he'll be buying a related products also so it's always important to have this now uh, when they buying the product many options anyway see so many options if you want to add or else some customizable customer only can customize on the cart page this option will help you the color many things oh, this is good actually uh, previously one of my student gave me this idea of the influencers now one developer have done this see most of your e-commerce website if you uh talk to some influencer whether it guys a tiktoker or else instagram a youtuber then if he promote your product there is a possibility your sales because they have a fan base and they following their videos so when he talk about your product there is a possibility they'll come to your website your sales will increase but if you want to find more influencers now this will help you this app will help you in that one so influencer marketing more than 90% of the marketers who use influencer marketing 2017 found it to be effective so automatically this telling you and uh, who are the influencers you can contact them and because of them how many sales you getting also it will show you sales notification by mps this is very good most of the e-commerce uh, owners they are using when you checking the website left hand side you'll be seeing like nitish from new delhi have uh, purchased the product today or uh, else uh, some guy from canada purchase the product in such a notification again in this some genuine you can add and some fake also you can add it anyway why this is important one is reviews are important one is this is important when because your website is not a popular website like amazon or walmart they are established website people have trusted it yours is a niche website you have to create a trust then reviews will give a trust second thing is it is showing that already people are purchasing now this guy will get more confidence chalo let us also make a purchase so sales notification by mps you can try this live chat yes uh, again live chat means this is not a fake website some people are there 
and uh, whether it is a chatbot or as uh, your personal is sitting over there answering them whatever it might be it's very good anyway customer thinks they are genuine and they have a chance of purchasing it anyway so try to add a chatbot so here they give some analytics here more than half of customers are more likely to purchase if your site has live chat assume that 60 to 70 percent of the people are abandoning the card there is a possibility if you have a live chat 20 percent of the people will buy immediately because there is a live chat suddenly hey how can i help you you got a you show the message now that guy started the conversation and if you're really talking well there is a possibility you can convert there are some many chat boards also there you can integrate properly so it's a live chat dozens of board templates to boost your sales trust hero trust badges like can you see this check out with visa this is also very good anyway now customer it will showcase all mastercard visa card we are associated with these kind of cards so these badges will be displayed uh, in the footer or else in the product page this is important anyway you can show them so that customer thinks that this is a trusted website ultimate sales boost uh this is in such a way like the customer is trying to purchase this product then when you use this it shows that only two left only two bags left in such a way so or else it show the timer like this only uh, 30 minutes 36 minutes left to purchase this product so you are creating a kind of emergency to the audience that if you don't buy now you won't get it anyway so yes definitely these kind of tactics also increase the sales you you should try all these things then check whether it is working because customer is always lazy you don't want to buy immediately but if you use these kind of tactics there is a possibility he will purchase immediately there is another one given grow uh uh this is nothing but uh, when you purchasing you telling them that uh, based on your uh, sale we are contributing 5% of this revenue to some orphanage would you like to do that so in such a way some kind of uh, uh responsibility you are adding and you showing them that we not only sales oriented we maintain some ethics also again some few people will connect i think 4 to 5% of the people connect this it's up to you whether you want to add this or not uh, i can see only 5 to 6% of the websites are adding this d1 pro privy this is more of pop up uh pop up for taking a emails or else a contact form for leads what it might be these pop ups also very good you can see this when pop up comes saying that enter your email id <clears throat> and spin it so that you'll be winning these things maybe 10% uh, uh off or else some coupon code some gift cards like this customer will try it at the end of the day what you getting is their email id and you can do for the email marketing so this is this list is as of now i'm saying this maybe down the line one year this list might grow up depends on your requirement you have to use i'm not saying that you have to use all these um, uh, 25 based on your uh, but i can tell you what are important one is uh, customer reviews are very important reviews are important then pop notification a sale notification is there, right that is also important then badges that uh, we saw we approved by we saw all these things these are important and creating emergency there was an app it's showing the emergency that is also good i don't remember that app name live chat also good yes ultimate sales boost live chat apart from that you can try many other things but these will you just see here that this 3 and 4 live chat this whole will gain trust from the customer and this will create emergency urgency from the customer that he will buy this immediately okay that's it guys if you have any questions put it in the comments so that i'll get back to you thank you